Good day everyone, welcome to another day with new topic. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Hi, this is Sauer's IT specialist and member at Web Development. This section explains the procedures to manage Linux services. Start, stop, and restart. Demon hunting. Topics. 1. Starting and stopping the daemon. 2. Configuring the daemon for automatic restart. 3. Setting and getting options for the daemon. 4. Querying the status and next plan daemon run. To start and stop the daemon, 1. Dot. To start the daemon, use the D start option as follows. Command dollar slash orashk D start dollar slash exact D start. The tools prompt you to provide required information during startup. 1. To stop the daemon, use the D stop option as follows. Command dollar slash orashk D stop dollar slash exact D stop. If a health check run is progress when you run the stop command, then the daemon indicates so and continues running. 1. To force the daemon to stop a health check run, use the DGE stop underscore client option. Command dollar slash orac D stop underscore client dollar slash exact D stop underscore client. The daemon stops the health check run and then confirms when it is done. If necessary, stop the daemon using the D stop option. Restarting the daemon automatically requires passwordless SSH user equivalents to root for the user who is configuring the auto-start feature, for example, root or oracle. If passwordless SSH user equivalence is not in place, then Oracle Orashk and Oracle Exach optionally configure for you. The passwordless SSH user equivalence is retained as long as the daemon automatic restart functionality is configured. Deconfiguring the daemon automatic restart feature restores the SSH configuration to the state it was found before automatic restart was configured. 1. To set up daemon automatic restart, use init setup, command, dollar, slash, orac init setup, dollar, slash, exact init setup. The tool prompts you to provide the required information during startup. Note, stop the daemon before running init setup, if the daemon is already running. Pre-configure root user equivalents for all compute storage or IB switches. Using the init pre-setup option, root equivalency for compute nodes is mandatory for setting up the automatic restart functionality. Command dollar slash orachic init pre-setup dollar slash exact init pre-setup one. To query automatic restart status of the daemon, use init check command dollar slash orachic init check dollar slash exact init check one. To remove automatic restart configuration, use initrum setup dollar slash arachic initrum setup dollar slash exachic initrum setup. To set the daemon options, set the daemon options using the set option. Set an option as follows dollar slash arachic set option underscore one equal sign option underscore one underscore value dollar slash exact set. Option underscore one equal sign option underscore one underscore value. Set multiple options using the name equal sign value format separated by semicolons as follows. Dollar slash or set. Option underscore one equal sign option underscore one underscore value. Option underscore two. Equal sign option underscore two underscore value. Option underscore n equal sign option underscore n underscore value. Dollar slash exact set. Option underscore one equal sign option underscore one underscore value. Option underscore two equal sign option underscore two underscore value. Option underscore an equal sign option underscore an underscore value. Auto run underscore schedule equal sign hour day. Month day underscore of underscore week. Auto run underscore flags equal sign flags. Command dollar slash or set. Notification underscore email equal sign some dot person at a company dot com comma another person at a company dot com dollar slash exact set notification underscore email equal sign some dot person at a company dot com comma another person at a company dot com command collection underscore retention equal sign number underscore of underscore days command password underscore check underscore interval equal sign number underscore of underscore hours auto run underscore interval equal sign nd vertical bar h where n is a number d is days h is hours to set multiple option profiles for the daemon. Define daemon option profiles using the id id option before the set option, where id is the name of the profile, dollar slash orashk id id set, option equal sign value, dollar slash exact id id set, option equal sign value, id id, 
get option vertical bar all, where ID is a daemon option profile. Option is a specific daemon option you want to retrieve, all returns values of all options, to get existing options for the daemon. Dollar, slash or rack get notification underscore email, notification underscore email equals sign some dot body at example dot com, dollar, slash exact get, notification underscore email, notification underscore email equals sign some dot body at example dot com, to query multiple daemon option profiles. Check my website, Cyberhouse YT link in description. Query the status and next automatic run schedule of the running daemon. There are a few different ways to use. D status vertical bar info. Vertical bar next auto run. D status. Checks if the daemon is running. D info. Displays information about the running daemon. D next auto run. ID ID. Displays the next automatic run time to query the status and next planned daemon run. 1. To check if the daemon is running, use D status. Dollar slash orac D status dollar slash exact D status. To query more detailed information about the daemon, use D info dollar slash orac D info dollar slash exact D info. The daemon responds with the following information. Node on which the daemon is installed. Version. Install location. Time when the daemon was started. To query the next scheduled health check run, use D next auto run. Dollar slash orac D next auto run. Dollar slash exact D next auto run. The daemon responds with details of the schedule for the daemon options profile ID you have specified. The daemon responds with details of schedule. If you have configured multiple daemon option profiles, then the output shows whichever is scheduled to run next. If you have configured multiple daemon option profiles, then query the next scheduled health check run of a specific profile using ID ID D next auto run. They work tirelessly behind the scenes handling everything from network connections and printing jobs, to logging system events and scheduling tasks. Imagine the complexity of these tasks being managed seamlessly without you even noticing. Without demons, your Linux system would be like a car without an engine. It might look nice, but it wouldn't get you very far. The system would be crippled, unable to perform even the most basic functions. Now, for a hacker, understanding demons is crucial because they often provide access to critical system resources and functionalities. These background processes can be gateways to the heart of the system. By identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities in demons, attackers can potentially gain control of a system or steal sensitive information. This makes them a prime target for malicious activities. But as we mentioned earlier, knowledge of demons is equally important for defense. Understanding how they work allows you to fortify your system against potential threats. By securing your demons, you can significantly reduce the attack surface of your system and make it much harder for malicious actors to gain a foothold. This involves regular updates, patches, and monitoring. In short, demons are the backbone of any Linux system, and mastering them is essential for both attack and defense. They are the invisible threads that hold the fabric of your system together. But how are these demons managed? How do you keep track of these numerous background processes? That's where Systemd comes in. Systemd is a system and service manager for Linux, designed to provide a better framework for managing demons. Let's explore this powerful tool in more detail. Systemd not only starts and stops demons, but also monitors them, ensuring they are running as expected. It provides a centralized way to manage the entire lifecycle of these background processes, making system administration more efficient and reliable. Section 5. System D. The maestro of your Linux orchestra. Imagine a grand orchestra with dozens of musicians, each playing their part to create a harmonious symphony. Each musician is focused on their instrument, contributing to the overall performance. The strings, the brass, the woodwinds and the percussion all come together to create a beautiful piece of music. That's kind of how Linux works with numerous services, our demons, all working in concert to keep the system running smoothly. Each service has a specific role, whether it's handling network requests, managing files, or running applications. Together, they ensure that the system operates efficiently and effectively. Now, imagine trying to conduct this orchestra without a conductor. Chaos, right? The musicians would be out of sync, the timing would be off, and the music would be a disorganized mess. 
Without a guiding hand, the performance would fall apart. That's where System D steps in, acting as the maestro of your Linux orchestra. Just like a conductor, System D ensures that all the services start in the right order, run smoothly, and interact correctly with each other. System D is a system management daemon that oversees all other daemons and services on your system. It takes on the critical role of managing the system's state, ensuring that everything is running as it should. It's responsible for starting, stopping, and managing the lifecycle of your services, ensuring that they're running as they should, and that any dependencies between them are met. This means that if one service relies on another, System D makes sure they start in the correct order. Think of it as the conductor's baton, coordinating the complex interactions between all the different parts of your Linux system. With a simple command, System D can start or stop services, check their status, and manage their dependencies. System D is a powerful tool, and it's become the standard INIT system, the system that initializes your Linux system at boot for most modern Linux distributions. This means that from the moment your system starts, System D is in control, ensuring that everything comes up in the right order. Understanding System D is essential for managing your demons effectively and keeping your system running smoothly. By mastering System D, you can ensure that your services are always available and that your system is resilient to failures. But how do we actually interact with this conductor? How do we give it commands and check its status? That's where the command line tool comes in. The command line tool that allows us to control System D and, by extension, all of our system services. With, you can start, stop, restart and check the status of services, making it an indispensable tool for any Linux administrator. Let's explore this powerful tool next. We'll dive into the commands you need to know to manage your services effectively and keep your Linux system running like a well-oiled machine.